This is practice A for section 2.1. We're looking at the back of the worksheet. We want to show the conjecture is false by finding a counterexample. The average of any two consecutive even numbers is an even number. So we want to average two consecutive even numbers. That means we're going to add them and divide by two. Two consecutive even numbers. We could keep it real simple here. Two and four are even numbers, and they're next to each other, so they're consecutive. Two plus four is six, and six divided by two is three. Is that an even number? It's not. So that's a good counterexample right there. Number 19, any four-sided polygon is a square. If you pick a standard rectangle, it's longer than it is wide. That's not a square. Rectangles have four sides, and they're not squares. Number 20, the square of any integer is a positive integer. Think about that one for a little bit, and you start squaring some integers. Now remember, integers can be positive, they could be negative, they could be zero, so all of those are on the table. Remember this list also. When they're asking you about certain numbers, these are the numbers that you should try. You should see what happens with zero, one, negatives, fractions, big numbers, and you keep using those until you find your counterexample. So if you square an integer like 5, you get 5 times 5, which is 25. That's also a positive integer. So when you square an integer like 5, you get a positive integer. It makes sense. But what happens if you try negatives? What if you squared negative 5? Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. It's still a positive integer. You could try 1. 1 squared is 1. That's still a positive integer. But what about 0? When you square 0, you get 0. Is 0 a positive integer? That's the key part right there. 0 is an integer, but it's not positive. 0 does not have a positive or a negative associated with it. It's neutral. Number 21, this one's on evaporation. You're performing an experiment to explore the effects of surface area on evaporation. Each day you record the depth in millimeters of the water in the bowl pictured. The table below shows your results. So as your days are increasing, notice how your water level is decreasing. So it's definitely evaporating. Predict the height of the water surface, the height of the water surface in the bowl on day six. We're dropping by 11 each time. So day five, your water level is 125 millimeters. On day six, it'll be 114 millimeters. Based on these results, make a conjecture about how the surface area of a body of water affects the rate of change of its depth by evaporation. So I'm not totally sure if they meant to make this this complicated, but the surface area of that body of water is that circular region there. And obviously, as this water level drops, the surface area of this circle decreases as well. So anything about that would be fine. As the surface area gets smaller, the depth decreases as well. 